Hello, my name is Alyssa Herbold, and today I will be going over my white paper, which consists of an analysis and a comparison of the top 13 life insurance companies by their individual market shares for July 2021. So if you go on InsuredTY's website, you will see this published blog article. Um, so if you scroll down, you just have to click this button right here in order to download and view the PDF of the white paper. So once you click on this, the white paper will be in your view. And on the first page, you can see all of the logos which are illustrated. And the second page just consists of a table of contents to help you clearly navigate this white paper. So for each of these companies, I will be going over an overview of the company, uh, talking about the goods and services that they provide, as well as their branding tactics. So to start off, uh, Northwestern Mutual, they are currently at the number one spot in terms of insurance companies for the year 2021. Um, despite the pandemic and the turbulent times of 2020, they actually broke records. So they had a $1.2 billion increase from their 2019 revenue. So in total, they created $31.1 billion in revenue. In terms of their goods and services, um, other than life insurance, they sell disability insurance, LTC, annuities, and investment services. So uh, specifically with their life insurance policies, they offer term, whole, and universal life insurance. Um, so these are very basic um, policies that most insurance companies do offer as well. In terms of their branding, since they are ranked the number one insurance company, they definitely use that as a unique value proposition. Um, so they definitely post customer reviews and legitimate rankings from numerous different websites to define themselves clearly as the best. Um, they definitely promote and pride themselves with their client and financial advisors relationship. So they definitely attempt to make the customer feel safe and secure regarding their finances since they do offer a lot of investment um, advice and tools as well as offering life insurance. Um, so overall, they just definitely integrate the longstanding history of the company into their mission statement, um, which just helps them overall gain business and trust amongst their customers. So New York Life is currently ranked the second best insurance company um, for the year 2021. Their total revenue for the year 2020 amounted to $32.1 billion dollars and they created a net income of $1.1 billion. So their company is a bit larger than Northwestern Mutual. Um, they have 11,388 hired employees. So other than life insurance, they offer retirement income, annuities, mutual funds, 529 plans, small business services, ETFs, estate planning services, and wealth management services, um, including uh, life insurance, obviously, which policies vary from term life insurance, whole life insurance, universal life insurance, and also variable life insurance. Um, so the variable universal life insurance is different from some of the other companies. Um, but overall, they're very similar to other insurance companies. In terms of their branding, they definitely pride themselves um, being located in the heart of New York City. So since New York City has a very diverse uh, population, they use this to attract a target audience of basically all different kinds of demographics. Um, so they use the rich and long history of being really prominent in New York City to attract customers. They also like to define themselves as extremely successful through their ratings on websites such as Forbes. Um, and they also emphasize the importance of preparing for the future through this um, for their clients and putting them first. So Mass Mutual is considered the third largest life insurance company for the year 2021. Um, so for the year 2020, 
their revenue was a total of $23.2 billion. Um, so this was a decrease, which is kind of common among some of these insurance companies since 2020 was the year of the pandemic and um, definitely went through some turbulent times. So they have a similar um, size in terms of their employees as New York Life. Um, so other than life insurance, they also sell uh, disability income insurance, individual retirement accounts, annuities and IRAs, brokerage products, mutual funds, 529 plans, and military life insurance. Um, so they sell the same term life policies as New York Life, so whole life, term life, universal life, and variable universal life. They brand themselves as a very ethical company. So they actually have a specific rating that they um, show on their website to provide you know, credentials for this. Um, they provide themselves they pride themselves, excuse me, as being a very mutual company. So they don't have shareholders, but rather they state that their ownership um, is through the members and participating policy owners. So basically their customers are helping them to grow. Um, so overall, it's very helpful for them to promote their strong relationships between clients and advisors to state that they are a very ethical company, since obviously when you are a company that deals with another human being and another human being's um, and adult's assets, it's very important to promote the morals of the longstanding company. So Prudential Life Insurance, they are ranked number four in the top uh, insurance companies for the year 2021. Uh, their total revenues for the year 2020 amounted to $57 billion and their net income amounted to $819 million. They are a very large company. They have approximately 41,671 employees. Um, so apart from life insurance products, they provide uh, health insurance, retirement, annuities, cash management, workplace benefits, and 529 plans. Um, so they have a unique term life policy, which is uh, titled Pru Term One, which offers coverage with premiums only paid one year at a time. So this is definitely beneficial for small business owners. And um, that kind of specific term life policy definitely helps them differentiate themselves from other companies. Um, they offer indexed universal life insurance, which is a bit different than other insurance companies, which has a cash growth potential that offers investment possibilities, which is very helpful because a lot of people who are going to invest in a life insurance plan do uh, definitely like the idea of investment possibilities. Um, so in terms of their branding, they promote themselves as very affordable and they like to help clients um, with families. Um, so more specifically in terms of families who are struggling um, and enduring tough times, they definitely use the pandemic to help relate to the American population um, so that they could provide solutions to uh, struggling families. And they also like to use the pandemic to show uh, multiple different success stories. So advertising their clients that were able to overcome hardships through uh, their products. So Lincoln Financial is ranked number five on the list of the top 20 largest life insurance companies for the year 2021. Um, so their total revenues amounted to $17.4 billion for the year 2020, which was actually an increase um, from 2019's $17.2 billion. Um, but they did face a loss uh, in terms of their net income for the year 2020. Um, they are a smaller company uh, led by over 9,000 employees. Um, and other than life insurance products, they uh, offer annuities, employment benefits, long-term care planning, 401ks, uh, 403bs, 401as, and five, four, excuse me, 457 uh, plan providers. So in terms of life insurance policies, they include um, and offer term, universal, indexed, and variable universal life insurance. 
uh, they brand themselves off of their name. So obviously Lincoln Financial, um, the last name of a United States president, Abraham Lincoln. Um, so on their company, they actually have stated Lincoln Financial Group is the first and only company in the world that freely carries Abraham Lincoln's name, image and ideals at the heart of our brand. Um, so they are definitely able to um, include, you know, United States and American values um, also by having a field in their name. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles NFL team plays there as well as Temple University, which is a division one football team. Um, so obviously this makes their company's name synonymous with the classic American game of football and a classic uh, well-known American president. So State Farm is ranked number six out of the top 20 largest life insurance companies. Um, so their total revenues for the year 2020 was $78.9 billion, um, which in comparison to the $79.4 billion for 2019 was a loss. Um, and their net income for 2020 was also a loss, uh, $3.7 billion as um, in comparison to $5.6 billion of the net income that they made in 2019. Um, they sell a very uh, wide array of products, which include life insurance, obviously, auto insurance, homeowners, business, renters, um, health, pet, disability, and boat insurance, as well as retirement, estate, and annuity, annuity services. And they have an estimated 58,000 employees which is much larger than um, some of the other insurance companies that I have already discussed. Um, so in terms of their branding, they definitely do a great job advertising their insurance by using entertainment and media stars, including Drake or professional sports players, um, Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, and Chris Paul. So many people know the jingle, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Um, and Jake from State Farm is a very famous character, a fictional character for State Farm. Um, so they definitely thrive off the idea of being there for their clients on and off the clock, which is definitely included in their commercials and advertisements as well. So John Hancock is ranked the seventh on the list of the top 20 largest insurance companies. Um, so in 2020, their total revenue was $17.3 billion, which was a decrease from 2019's $18.5 billion. Um, and their net income was also unfortunately a decrease for the year 2020. Um, so $393 million for that year 2020 in comparison to 2019's $413 million. But once again, uh, this is common, especially because of the pandemic. So they definitely have a smaller company and uh, they provide services with annuities, college savings, IRA, life insurance, obviously, uh, long-term care, mutual funds, retirement planning, and safe access accounts. So their life insurance is definitely different uh, than most other insurance companies. So they have a Vitality Go program where customers are able to enjoy Amazon discounts, REI discounts. Um, they get discounts off of wearable fitness devices and instant savings on certain foods at grocery stores. Um, so this is really helpful and uh, provides customers with a unique value proposition because they set their insurance companies apart by using these incentives. Um, their website is very, uh, kind of common and basic. It's very modern and easy to navigate, um, but through their Vitality Go program, that's definitely how they uh, brand themselves um, and kind of differentiate themselves apart from other insurance companies. Um, they also are able to sponsor uh, big events such as the Boston Marathon, which definitely kind of helps them in terms of really branding themselves as a company who is really supportive of active events. Transamerica, um, they had a 
total amount of revenues for the year 2020 of $14.9 billion, which was a decrease, um, not a huge decrease, but a decrease um, from the previous year's $15.2 billion. And um, they did have a net income loss um, of a large, more of a large amount. Um, 2019, their total uh, net income was $1.3 billion and their net income in 2020 was $611 million. $611 million. In terms of uh, what the company offers other than life insurance, um, they offer long-term care, dental insurance, Medicare solutions, annuities, mutual funds, um, individual retirement accounts, um, pensions, employee benefits, exchange traded funds, um, and so on and so forth. Um, in terms of their branding, they definitely pride themselves on their logo which includes the pyramid, which was very well known and is still very well known across the country um, as one of the tallest skyscrapers in San Francisco. Um, so this was previously their headquarters, which is no longer, the company is no longer headquartered in that building, but they do continue to keep the pyramid with them through their logo um, to continue to um, pride themselves in you know, starting off and um, initially being headquartered in that building. So MetLife is considered the 10th largest insurance company. Um, so for the full year of 2020, their net income was $5.2 billion, which was a loss from 2019's $5.7 billion. Um, they generated a total of $67.8 billion in total revenues, which once again was a loss from 2019's $69.6 .6 billion. Um, but overall, to summarize those losses, they're fairly, fairly minimal, um, despite the volatile financial times of the year 2020. Um, so in terms of their products, they offer auto, recreational vehicles, home, dental, disability, vision, accident and health, legal, and pet insurances, as well as annuity and long-term care services, retirement funding, and financial solutions. Um, so their life insurance plans are actually very different from other insurance companies, um, life insurance companies, because their policies are only offered through workplace plans. So that being said, you need to contact your employer um, to find which plan is right for you because they do not allow any individual policies. Um, so they definitely pride themselves and brand themselves as being a company that has been around for a very long time um, and overall just help people live better and healthier lives. Um, they definitely show this through their campaigns to eliminate tuberculosis and investing in houses and infrastructure, infrastructure excuse me, of all sizes. So AIG or the American International Group is the 12th largest insurance company. Um, they actually were founded in Shanghai, China, a fun fact. Um, and they have operations in more than 80 countries and jurisdictions. And they are currently headquartered in Manhattan, um, but their headquarters are expected to move to another building close by in Manhattan. Um, it was supposed to happen in July. Um, so they definitely faced financial difficulties for 2020, but managed to stay afloat. Um, their total revenue for 2020 amounted to $43.7 billion, which was a net loss of $5.9 billion. They offer um, and provide a lot of different services um, and annuities, uh, life insurance clearly. So they offer term life, universal life and guaranteed whole life services. Um, they offer retirement services, and mutual funds. Um, they definitely pr pride themselves on their whole international aspect, but also just overall on providing protection and coverage for individuals or families. Um, so they do not necessarily produce any attention grabbing advertise advertisements, but they do provide a lot of information on their website um, but many times it is a bit too much to comprehend for a consumer, which has been stated on reviews about the company. 
Um, so the marketing term above the fold is kind of an area that marketers try to fit their most informative information on. But uh, for AIG's website, they definitely don't include anything that sets their company apart from others. Um, that's not necessarily attention grabbing immediately once you navigate through their website. So Primerica is rated the 14th largest life insurance company um, in the United States for the year 2020, um, or 2021, excuse me. Uh, their total revenues amounted to $2.2 billion, which was an increase um, from the previous year's $2 billion. And they generated uh, $386 million in net income in total which was an increase from 2019's $366 million. Um, they have a very small company in comparison to all of these other insurance companies. Um, but in terms of their financial needs um, analyses to clients, that definitely is um, different from other, what other insurance companies offer. Um, so they offer mutual funds, annuities, business retirement plans, home and auto, prepaid legal and identity theft services. Um, they definitely kind of pride themselves in only specializing in term life insurance. So they define this as the cornerstone of their business. They provide um, affordable term life insurance that will benefit families. And they definitely think that because they have spent endless amounts of time and years honing in on their target market and focusing on uh, researching middle income families and really just fully focusing on term life insurance, um, they definitely brand themselves as uh, being the best at what they do. So Nationwide is the 16th largest insurance company. Um, they had a total revenue, um, total revenues of $46.6 billion for the year 2020 and a net, net income of $797 million for the year 2020. Um, these fiscal amounts were a loss from the year 2019, but they definitely demonstrated strength through the year 2020. Um, they provide a large array of coverage for numerous different things. Um, and they definitely provide uh, customers with a lot of different products. Um, their insurance policies are uh, include, but are not limited to car, motorcycle, RV, boat, snowmobile, ATV, scooter, golf cart, renters, condo, um, et cetera, as you can read right here. Um, in terms of their branding, they definitely pride themselves on helping their clients uh, for the past 90 years, protecting what matters the most. So their commercials include the well-known slogan and jingle, Nationwide is on your side. And so kind of similarly um, to State Farm, they definitely include well-known athletes and musicians and actors into their commercials, such as Brad Paisley, uh, Peyton Manning, and Julia Roberts. Um, in order to kind of really get their brand out there and to be well known amongst the American population. So Allstate is a very uh, large and well known insurance company, obviously. Um, so they had a very outstanding financial year um, for the year 2020. Their net income increased from $4.67 billion in 2019 to $5.46 billion in 2020, and they generated $44.79 billion in total revenue in 2020, uh, which was an increase from 2019's $44.67 billion. Uh, similarly, similarly to Nationwide and State Farm, they provide numerous different types of coverage. Um, they're definitely well known, most well known for their auto insurance, but they all, um, also offer home, renters, condo, motorcycle, business, roadside identity, boat, motor home, and et cetera. All of those goods and services um, are all listed right here. So they definitely believe that it's very effective for their company to supply a variety of protection programs uh, rather than just focusing on one. Um, so their slogan, you're in good hands with Allstate is definitely effective because buying insurance sometimes feels and mostly does feel like a very serious purchase. So they really want customers to feel protected and safe and 
financially secure with the company that they are trusting with their assets. So all states advertising is definitely spot on in that aspect and their commercials are very effective and popular. So that overall was my analysis and comparison of some of the top 13 insurance companies in the United States. Um, you can download and view this white paper uh, by going on my blog post on Insured TY's website. And I really thank you so much for watching. And I highly encourage you to check out some more of our videos.